Guys, yesterday Bitcoin had a massive pump and we actually broke through the red line here like absolutely nothing. The markets are looking really, really bullish. Guys, today I am going to talk about the move I see happening next. I am going to update you on a couple of very key charts. I will show you the reason why we did have this uh, pump yesterday. In case you didn't uh, watch my video yesterday, I will give you a reminder. I'm going to talk about all of my trading strategies. We're seeing some tremendous gains across the board here. I will talk about potentially some reasons for why you need to be prepared for some volatility moving forward volatility is going to continue however guys make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end of this video if you're holding any cryptocurrency at all because this is huge welcome back everybody my name is chris bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now and look at this pump well first let's uh, start off where we left off yesterday so in my video yesterday i was talking about how it was looking likely that we were going to come down towards this uh, edge of the orange box but how the bulls were going to defend this level before we actually reached this we were going to have a big bounce and uh, actually let me so i don't have to repeat myself it makes it just easier let me play a, a little small part of yesterday's video so uh, i can then uh, continue and tell you about what i think is going to happen next but this is from the video yesterday but uh, right now it is just like i said yesterday it is looking likely that we are going to revisit the uh, forty thousand one hundred dollar edge of the orange box now depending on how bullish the market how powerful the bulls are you're gonna see a bounce probably before we come down to this level so you can see here we we didn't go all the way down but we came very very close this was like a you know 50 dollars off or something but uh, on this way down and this was a massive liquidation event but on this occasion the bulls are definitely also going to try to defend so same thing here the more times that we are going to hit this the weaker it is going to become but i do believe that it is going to continue to be significant strength for the uh, for the next few days anyway so if we come down to this level again i do believe that the bulls are going to defend this and that you are going to see a bounce so that was the video yesterday now let's get back to where i think we are going to go today so we did have that bounce i was talking about and just like i said the more times we come down to towards the edge of the orange box here the weaker it is going to get but look at this we are now also above the red line here which is absolutely huge now this red line didn't even post that much of a significant resistance on the way up yes the first time we went up here and this is a typical example as well first time we went up we got rejected but the second time then you know this didn't pose that much of a rejection instead the bulls had enough momentum to break through this point so all is still looking good here the base case is still bullish for bitcoin and now we have had that pullback that i was expecting once we broke above the red line here for the first time as you know i did say that i want to see a pullback into the orange box and that is going to be very very bullish for bitcoin because that takes out all of the late logs it takes out all of the over leverage so now we have flushed that out and uh, yeah things are looking good for bitcoin guys i cannot lie things are looking really really good for bitcoin and also the triangle we talked about yesterday the descending triangle we are broken above it from the uh, or towards the upside now this is on the daily time frame and also the buy signal this never changed as you know i talked about this a lot uh, the Lux Algos buy signal, which flashed here at $28,000. And I said that as long as this is actually intact, the trend is intact here, this is very, very bullish for Bitcoin. And this has held strong. Even though we did see a pullback, this buy signal still held. It didn't tell us that the momentum was shifting. So uh, this was intact, and that is very, very bullish for Bitcoin as well. And you can see if you just held here, you are now seeing the breakout of this triangle now is this the end are we now going to go straight up to 50k to 60k all-time highs 100k of course not you're still going to see pullbacks but the fact that we so convincingly had such big bounces off of these levels it just shows me that the market is really really bullish the bulls are really in control of the market here and one example of this is just like i said in my video yesterday you can kind of determine the strength of the bulls in the market right now by how low towards the edge of the orange box we would be getting here because of course we know that this level here this would be a level in which we were going to bounce off of the only question is 
when were we going to see that bounce? Now, if you come down all the way down here, maybe even have a wick down, just for us to then have a bounce and close inside of the orange box, that shows us a little bit of weakness. But the fact that we didn't even on the wicks come down to the edge of the orange box, we had a big bounce before then, it just shows me that the bulls are really, really powerful right now. So that's my base case. Everything is still bullish for Bitcoin uh, on the daily, on the four hourly. Of course, let me take this away. This was just to illustrate what I thought was going to happen here. This was painted uh, at $25,000. So this has played out pretty, pretty well. And uh, as you know, guys, I've been saying that after this white line, you should be buying every single dip. And uh, yeah, this is uh, years ago when I was uh, showing you this the first time. And we didn't even break the low that I had for the, uh, for the cycle inside of the steel box here. The low I had was $24,000. At the maximum, we came to $24,700. So we didn't reach my low even. But this is the level in which I thought Bitcoin would not go below inside of the steel box. And we haven't gone below it. Instead, if you were buying every single dip here, you are, of course, sitting at incredible profits right now. And this is still the case. Now, it is time for a buy the dip strategy again. Of course, if we have pullback, I am going to accumulate more Bitcoin. And in fact, my trading strategies are doing it for me. And now, before I talk about the trading strategies, guys, Traditional markets are looking really, really good as well. We are potentially about to break the previous all-time high for the traditional markets on the S&P 500. Now, I showed you this yesterday, how we were struggling with getting above this level, but how this was looking very, very bullish. We have a flagpole, we have the consolidation, and now we have a pump, we have a retest. And this is looking likely, guys, like this wants to break its previous all-time high, which is this orange line right here. So... Things are looking really, really bullish for traditional markets as well. However, I do have some charts I want to show you, which could be some cause for concern, but I will tell you why I am not personally concerned about it. Now, let's talk about the trading strategies, which have done incredibly well here recently. The volatility that we saw, the pullbacks, you guys have been making so much money using these ones. So on, um, well, let's talk first about BitGet. You are up. If you used my bots since 41 days ago when I started this from zero, you were up $74,000. Absolutely insane. Now, since this got full, I started this one. You are up. If you follow this 14 days ago, you are up almost $12,000. So we are quickly approaching you know, $100,000 on the BitGet bots alone. Not to even speak about the OKX bots, which you are up several hundred thousand dollars if you opened these ones up a few months ago. Now, let me show you here. All of the positions, the profits have been taken. So that is fantastic. And now we're looking for a new cycle. So I want, I'm not saying that it's necessarily going to happen, but the ideal scenario just for these bots is for us to have another pullback, and then rinse and repeat. We have a pullback, we accumulate, and on the pump, on the way up, you know, we take profit. Or these automatically take profit. Now, you can see we're approaching almost 200% on some of these uh, bots here. 162 here, 157. So these ones are approaching 100%. These ones are doing very, very, very well as well. So everything is still going according to plan here. So um, I understand some people, you know, they get uh, scared when they see a pullback. They're not prepared for it. They see their bots being at potentially losses. But this is the entire reason why these were um, opened by me to accumulate on the way up. And then on the bounce, you see that profit being taken. Uh, also here, oh, massive milestone on BitGet. 100% on this Ethereum bot in just 41 days. So absolutely insane profits here on these bots. Now, these are, of course, full on... Uh, on BitGet, my main account and my second account. So um, send emails. If you want to use these ones, send emails to BitGet for them to open up more slots. I'm hoping that they can also open up these ones to 750, just like I have on my main account. But then this is the hard cap. There is not going to be more uh, slots on these bots here. So I would suggest you, if you want to use my bots on OKX, of course, go ahead and do that. If you cannot use OKX, then Click on slot reminder here on BitGet. How do you get to this link? Well, first, like I said, sign up. If you want to use my trading strategy, sign up to OKX, up to $60,000 in deposit bonuses. Click on this link, click join now. And then with one click, once you have signed up, claim the bonuses, and then click on one of these links or all of these links, whichever bot you want to use. Um, for BitGet, 
sign up using this link right here up to eight thousand four hundred dollars in deposit bonuses and then go down this one is full but this one is also full but i'm hoping that they can open up more slots so click on this one a slot reminder you get reminded as soon as new slots are being opened here but you will have to be fast because uh yeah i'm expecting this if they open up these ones to 750 i'm expecting it to be full within probably one day or two days. And also, of course, watch my tutorial at the top of the description talking about how these bots work and everything you need to know. So for altcoins, guys, altcoins are doing really, really well as well. Of course, on this massive bounce, you're seeing some tremendous gains across the board here. Uh, for the coins I am watching right now, or the coins I've been talking about on my channel, all of them have had a nice juicy bounce. See, Defy is having a nice juicy bounce as well. Merge Circle, uh, which is also Beam, it's the same coin. So Beam, Merge Circle, whichever. Uh, I should add Beam, actually. Anyway, I will do that on tomorrow's video. But it's the same coin, essentially. It's the same gains. So 10% here. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, up 700% since I started talking about Merit Circle. So some ETF news, guys. So BlackRock has once again amended their spot Bitcoin ETF after the recent meeting with the SEC. So again, the SEC are telling BlackRock what they need to do in order to get uh, the ETF approved. So I think it's more or less certain at this point that the ETF is going to get approved. How do I know that? Because Bitwise are actually starting to roll out commercials, okay? They're rolling out commercials telling them that you should be looking at the Bitwise ETF. Once the ETFs are approved, Bitwise wants to uh, be the one that people pour their money into, okay? So even though the Spot Bitcoin ETF is not approved yet, they are still rolling out these commercials. So they have to be pretty sure about the ETF being approved here, guys. So that is absolutely fantastic. And one thing that is absolutely fantastic as well is the fact that during the last year or so, the uh, amount of people that have increased their holdings, uh, the small people, like the small holders of Bitcoin, who holds between zero to one Bitcoin, have increased the most. So this is the kind of um, orange line or whatever you want to call it red line right here you can see it goes up and then the whales that holds more than 100 bitcoin it's been going more or less of course it's also been going up but since uh, since november it has been going sideways and the people that hold between 1 to 100 bitcoin have been going sideways as well so really it is the uh, smaller holders that have been accumulating like crazy here recently so i'm very happy to see that the smaller holders are accumulating the dip they are accumulating bitcoin to hold more, more, uh, most likely for the entire bull run. So that is absolutely fantastic, guys. Is there something to be worried about, though? For traditional markets, just like I showed you, traditional markets are looking likely to break its previous all-time high. Now, there are also some metrics we need to be concerned about for traditional markets. Mainly, the S&P 500 is now trading at a daily RSI of 81 on the index. So when is the last time the index was at more than 81? It was the 2nd of September 2020, the day before the S&P 500 fell 11% in three weeks. So um, you can see it right here. This is where we had the same RSI and we had a massive pullback. Now we have the same RSI. Are we going to see a massive pullback? I do not think so personally, guys. I do think that it's going to be a little while before we have such a massive pullback for the S&P 500. So that's what I believe, but of course, this is one metric that you need to pay attention to, but I'm just going to say this is what I believe. I do believe that we are not going to see that pullback until we actually break our previous all-time high and, and have a little bit of a push towards the upside, okay? So I wouldn't be worried, especially when it comes to Bitcoin, I wouldn't be too much worried about this scenario. And I know it might, might sound counterintuitive because I always say, that Bitcoin, you know, it's being affected by the traditional markets. And if the S&P 500 goes down, Bitcoin is going to go down. But in this particular case, in where we are in the market right now, and where I think the S&P 500 is going to go, because I do believe it's going to go a little bit higher. And then if you have a pullback from higher prices, well, Bitcoin is going to be at a higher price anyway. So what I'm trying to say is I don't think that you should set your Bitcoin in particular just because of this one right here. But this is not financial advice. Of course, be careful out there. One other thing to be concerned about is the top 10 stocks in the S&P 500 now account for 35% of the entire index. So basically, the money is being concentrated to the top 10 stocks. So the last time we saw this level of concentration, it was in 2001 when the dot-com bubble bursted. The Magnificent 7, which are the top uh, biggest, uh, 7 biggest stocks, 
are now approaching 100% in gains for 2023. So the less of the remaining stocks in the S&P 500, 493 stocks, they are still up less than 10% together. So really, it is the big stocks that have been doing well here. People have been fleeing to safety during this bear market. They've been getting into the larger stocks. So yeah, that is something to take note of. Guys, also finally, if you uh, want to use the Lux Algo, this signal right here, you also have the best offer in the description. So go down, you have Lux Algo here, the best trading toolkit available, up to 20% off using my link. Okay, guys, that is what I got for you. I hope that this video was helpful to you, uh, and uh, I will see you in the next one.